Hi guys, and uh, there is another video here about hate speech and now how the Watch Tower is going to use it to silence its opposers. And this, as uh, I know, we have been inundated by all these changes, recent changes, and you probably lost count on how many things the religion will have to change in the next few years attire, ministry, meetings, everything. Uh, but there was also during this mayhem of new changes, there was an, an announcement that was sent only to elders. And if you go back and watch my videos, you can find it that it was making the case that now the elders should use any, any possible avenue, any, any way they can, the new hate speech laws to, uh, attack their opponents, to silence their opponents and see how from this article, which the article is also on my website, jwupdates.com, you can see how this has, has materialized in this one of the small countries in Europe and how they have now the backing of organizations that are, uh, you know, they are also in the same, in the European Union, you have the European Court of Human Rights, you have the ECHR, and they have also smaller organizations attached, attached to EV, the ECHR that they will use the Jehovah's Witness to stop people uh, opposing them or exposing them online or on television uh, in order, uh, and they will class it and they will call it hate speech. And that's very interesting. So other uh, sects of the society have used this hate speech in recent years to do that. And now Jehovah's Witnesses will do exactly the same. So this article, as I said, it comes from Albania that only up to recently, it was a communist country, uh, very uh, isolated from the world. And ever since it, it opened its borders back in the 90s, I think it was in the late 80s, uh, they have slowly now used the uh, the same organizations in the European Union to modernize the country and also uh, help Jehovah's Witnesses to have a better standing there. So it says that the article by Pastor Pauline Villayetti, or Villagetti, I hope I pronounced that right, has, had called the organization, the Jehovah's Witnesses, in a TV show, a dangerous satanic cult, Showing hatred and inciting suicide. That's what they claim. <laughs> the Jehovah's Witness close say that they, they it shows it's showing hatred and inciting suicide. Only recently did Euronews Albania, a subsidiary of Euronews France, take out from its YouTube channel discriminatory expressions against the Jehovah's Witnesses used by guests in its popular popular talk show, Good Morning Albanians, as ordered by the Commissioner for Protection Against Discrimination. And that's the organization I told you. It's a smaller organization. It's called CPAD. And it's called the Commissioner for Protection Against Discrimination. And it is closely related to the ECHR. So that happened on January the 25th, 2024. It's only a few months ago. But... On May the 18th, 2023, one of the topics in Good Morning Albanians was the yearly report on religious freedom that had just been issued by the U.S. Department of State. And one of the guests invited to discuss the matter was Pastor Pauline Vilayeti of the Evangelical Brotherhood in Albania, who is very popular in the country. And as the CPAD, this Commission for Protection, of against discrimination, noted Pastor Villayeti is a public person as he is regularly invited on television and other media to analyze and express opinions on various social religious events, etc. And has some 50,000 social media followers, which for a small country I think is about 2 million. I could be wrong. <laughs> I think by things about 2 million people living in Albania, 50,000 social media followers. Especially for a Christian preacher, it's quite a big number. 
While this, the article continues, while this was not the main theme of the discussion, Pastor Vilayeti was confronted with a screenshot showing a statement he made in 2020 that the Jehovah's Witnesses had a satanic cult anti Christians. Very interesting. They basically confronted him. He wasn't there to speak about Jehovah's Witnesses. Who put that in the mind of the presenter to confront him with the statement? Hmm. The Albanian word used was secti, which as words in other languages derived from the Latin secta should be translated in English as cult, not as sect. In fact, in English, sect has a different and less derogatory meaning, while the word used to stigmatize religious movements perceived as dangerous is cult. Vilayeti confirmed that what he said in 2020 is true and reiterated that Jehovah's Witnesses are called where there are already facts. This because of their policies, many have committed suicide, which is true. It's documented. And I think, personally, he said, this is Satanism. And continuing the discussion, he called the Jehovah's Witnesses a, a dangerous cult, showing hatred and stated that these other cults are state the state needs to deal with seriously. To be honest, other states are dealing with the Jehovah's Witnesses seriously. Norway, Lithuania, France, Spain, Holland. This is not, this is not a lie. This is true, right? On May the 29th, 2023, a right of reply request correcting the statements was sent to Euronews, Albania, which ignored it. So they demand now. Who demands that? Who demands the right for reply request correcting the statements? Jehovah's Witnesses do, right? On June the 19th, 2023, the Jehovah's Witnesses filed a complaint against both pastor. Here's the thing. Vilayeti and Reurinius with a CPAD and also informed the State of Committee for Religions SCR. On June 27, 2023, the SCR, the State Committee for Religions, wrote to the Jehovah's Witnesses that it had shared their concerns with the Evangelical Brotherhood of Albania, telling the Protestant organization that statements like Pastor Vilayetis do not contribute to the harmony and good relationship between among the different religions in the country. And on October the 19th, 2023, a hearing, so this case has been ongoing for the, the past in 2023, a hearing was held before the CPAD. Pastor Vilayeti was asked to publicly apologize for the expressions he had used, but he refused. On January 24th, 2024, May, th so January 25th, 2024, the CPAD rendered its decision against Euronews and Vilayeti. The decision notes that you know, Euronews' main defense was that there had been no discrimination because the Jehovah's Witnesses had also been invited to the talk show but had declined their invitation. So they not only get invited to give their opinion, they refuse to go and then they issue the pastor with a hate speech, you know, complain that's back from all the usual suspects in the European Union. The ones that protect cults. The decision notes that Euronews' main defense was that there had been no discrimination because the Jehovah's Witness had also been invited to the talk show but had declined the invitation. Pastor Vilayetti's defense largely focused on the Jehovah's Witness's refusal of blood transfusions, which he equated to the suicide and called a satanic practice. What do you get that? He watched the XAW channels. That's what I'm telling you. We have to be very careful with now what we say because they have a new weapon in their hands they're going to use against us. Hate speech. These arguments were not accepted by the CPAD, which noted that regardless of the different objections, Pastor Vilayeti could raise against the doctrines and practice of Jehovah's Witness the subject matter of the complaint was the use of language inciting to hatred and discrimination hate speech. So you can't say Jehovah's Witnesses practices are satanic. We have to find your ways. 
The CPID found that in past of Lillet, the statements believers of the Jehovah's Witness in Albania are portrayed and labelled as negative mortals solely because of their religious beliefs. These statements, although not a direct threat to a specific person, can be understood as statements that incite hatred. Hate speech. Use hate speech. They tell the elders, hey, use the, use hate speech. When anyone is, any apostle comes up to you in the, in the country, yes, yeah, he hates hate speech. What is going on? <laughs> the commissioner stresses that the association of Jehovah's Witnesses and the religious community they represent have been portrayed and labeled as negative models in the past in Albania, and not just Albania. Because of media disinformation and false information, this association and its believers were labeled negatively by being stereotyped and stigmatized before the public opinion. Yes, it is a very, uh, it's a cult. It is an organization that has many things, many skeletons in its closet. And that's people, why people are talking about them. The CPAD, this commissioner for, uh, you know, discrimination from instigated by the European Union, concluded that the language used by Mr. Pauline Villagetti constitutes hate speech against the Jehovah's Witness Association and the religious community they represent because of their religious beliefs. The views expressed by him are in excess of freedom of expression and as such, they may not enjoy protection under Articles 22 and 24 of the Constitution, Articles 9 and 10 of the European Convention of Human Rights, and Articles 18 and 19 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. So you want to you silence your opposers? You want to silence people that they have to say something about your religion? Use hate speech laws instigated by the European Unity, uh, Union. And they will be absolutely fine, right? They will take it to court for that. For all the above reasons, the commissioner considers that limiting hate speech is necessary and proportionate. The CPAD's decision quoted the relevant case law of the European Court of Human Rights, ECHR, and indeed its decision appears to be in harmony with the ECHR, with what ECHR represents. So, Coming to the end of this article, European Albanian, Euronews Albanian television was asked to take immediate measures to eliminate cover the discriminatory expressions used by Mr. Pauline Villagetti in the show Good Morning Albanians, available on YouTube, and Pastor Villagetti was asked to issue a public statement, verbal or written, distancing himself from the use of hate speech against the Jehovah's Witnesses Association and the religious community they represent and avoid it, its use in the future. So there you go, there you have it. What do you think? Well, the what's our use hate speech laws to silence its opposers? It seems to be a new weapon that they are waking up to its power. And that's why they're sending out this announcement and this communication to elders around the world only a few months ago, going back and watch my video, are made about that and they say use it use it use it to use it it's not like proclaim 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 god and his kingdom it's like use 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 hate speech laws to stop anyone talking about us we'll have enough trouble enough as it is so yes what do you think let me know in the comment section will the word star use that now to silence us chance and will that be an issue also for the XJW community, for channel, for YouTube channels. Let me know in the comment section. You will find the link to this article from our website, jwupdates.com. Below, in the, I have recently changed the tiers of my Patreon account. If you want to help the channel and have full access to all articles that have information, secret documents, everything, all in your inbox or, or on your phone as an app, for just $1.99 a month, you can help the channel and help also the website. And as I said, the Patreon button is also below. So thanks for listening to me, guys. And I shall speak to you soon. Take care. Bye for now.